Hi, this is Colin with Maker Farm. In this series of videos, I'm going to show you how to put together the TiVo Tarantula. The build guide it comes with is not very good, so it's best to follow the videos. You're going to need a few things. First one is going to be either measuring tape to measure in millimeters or a ruler. You're going to need bag B-6-4 and bag B-6-3. Um, also get two of the 150 millimeter long extrusion and one 420 millimeter long extrusion. First, we're going to open up our tool bag, which is B-6-4. You're going to need uh, one of the Allen wrenches in here that is going to match up with the set screws that is in this bag. I like to go ahead and pre-install all of the set screws in all of the hidden corner brackets, so go ahead and do that now. You will end up with extra set screws when you're all done. Now that you have all of the set screws in the hidden corner brackets, go ahead and get your four of your hidden corner brackets and your 420 millimeter long extrusion. We're going to slide them into the bottom channel of the 420. You want to make sure that you do orient them correctly. You'll notice how they're set up. And then do the same thing on the other side in the bottom channel. When you assemble this printer, make sure you have a completely flat surface to do it on. It makes the process a whole lot easier. Now we're going to measure from the front of the extrusion back 190 millimeters, and that's where we're going to set the 250 millimeter extrusions at. So I'm going to go ahead and put this front of the extrusion on the ruler at 190, and then I can easily move that up to be at the right spot. Then go ahead and tighten down the set screws. It is a good idea to go back and forth on the two set screws and tighten them each a little at a time. If you were to tighten one down all the way and then tighten the other set screw, it can actually push the extrusion up off of the other extrusion. This is also why it's good to have a flat build surface. That way we can make sure that the extrusions are both lining up uh, correctly and flat. Once you finish with one side, we're going to go ahead and measure the other side and do the exact same for that process on the back side extrusion as well. Now we're going to grab the two 400 millimeter long extrusions. One of them is 20 millimeters wide, one of them is 40 millimeters wide. Also grab these two L brackets that are acrylic. Get bag B-6-2, bag A-7, and we're going to get our tool bag once again, which is B-6-4. 
Now out of bag B-6-2, we're going to get the two aluminum cast corner brackets. And we're going to get the contents out of bag A-7. Going to grab some of the bolts. On each bolt, you're going to put one of these washers, and then you can go ahead and thread that through the cast corner bracket and put one of the uh, M4 nuts on the end. Just turn it a little bit. When we put it into the extrusion and tighten it, that's going to turn and lock it into place. Then go ahead and do that a few more times till we have two bolts and nuts installed in each of the cast corner brackets. Next, we're going to work on the acrylic L corner pieces. It does have paper on both sides. You're going to want to go ahead and remove that from at least one side. You can leave one side on and just put that against the extrusion where it has the paper. Then go ahead and get the same bolt and washer, install it in there, and put a nut on back. Do the same for both of the L corner pieces. Um, some of the bolts and nuts will be in the other bag that has the SD card. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to take the 400 millimeter long 20 by 20 extrusion and we're going to install that on the left side of our frame. It's going to stand upright and we're going to use our cast corner brackets. I usually align the cast corner bracket up with the end of the extrusion, hold it in place, then use one of the uh, Allen wrenches to go ahead and lock that in place. Once you do that, you're going to see the nut is going to actually turn and lock into the extrusion. Now we're going to stand it upright, align our nut, hold it tight, and then go ahead and tighten that down, making sure that that nut turns in the extrusion to lock in place also. Now we're going to turn all of the nuts on the back of the acrylic corner piece so that we can Hold it up to the extrusion and then just go ahead and tighten all those, making sure that each nut locks into the extrusion as well. The last step is to do the other side. We're going to install another cast corner bracket, make sure that the edge of it is aligned with the edge of the extrusion, then go ahead, tighten them down, and install it as shown in the video. The other acrylic piece will be installed later on and will go on the left side at the top. So just put it aside for now.